Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here tonight. I'm very, very happy to see each and every one of you over here today. Uh, I hope you will enjoy this tech working session, uh, which is going to start in a while. Uh, but before we start this, I think I just have to thank a couple of people here. Uh, obviously, the first person I'm going to thank is our gold sponsor, IA Mac Malaysia. Uh, also, thanks to our silver sponsor, Cardex. And of course, uh, not forgetting XTS Technologies, the sponsor of the networking session tonight. Uh, I would also like to thank our event partners, MASSCI and Myras. Uh, apart from that, there's also a couple of other organizations I would like to thank. Uh, I would like to thank the Malaysia Productivity Council for organizing this panel session on AI. It just, it just happened today. Uh, I would like to thank as well the Malaysian Investment and uh, Investment Development Authority, uh, the Malaysian Automotive Robotics and IoT Institute, the Machinery and Equipment Industry Federation, Samantha, IEEE Penfia, and both the Machinery and Equipment Productivity Nexus as well as its Logistic Productivity Nexus. Uh, some Special thanks goes to our media partners as well, uh, New Pages, Info Pages, and Automate Asia Magazine. Uh, of course, the most important thank you to all the exhibitors who are here with us today. For without you guys, none of this would have happened. I'm actually very, very happy that this is the first time we're doing this event and we are able to gather all each and every one of you are here today. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, thank you and hello. Uh, yeah, testing one, two, three. Uh, a very good. Afternoon, no, a very good evening now. Okay, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you, the organizer, to invite me to, to, to be here to share something uh, very humble sharing about the uh, automated warehouse. Uh, I think it's considered as a system. I think most of you are from the warehouse uh, industry, right? You are the expert. So I just share a bit humble thing okay, related to the warehouse system design. I think uh, <clears throat> if you're the system guy, right? Okay, I start with the something about standard. Any standard? Uh, is there any standard that you think about if related to your area? Standard, standard. If you're a uh, system, okay, because the most important for any warehouse uh, uh, design, right? I, for me, I, I, look in, look, I look into the system by itself. So what is the most important standard that related to your industry of warehouse? ISA. Any, anyone familiar with ISA? International Society of Automation. Okay, they have a standard called ISA, ISA 95, right? It's a very basic common uh, standard that related to, related to the automation. Okay, so if you're thinking about to design a warehouse system, right, uh, you can refer to that as a basic uh, guide for you. Okay, what are the other considerations? If you're thinking about what to, to build, okay, to develop a new warehouse, okay, let's say to make sure these two, I think autonomous okay, robot, right, moving very smooth on the ground. So what is the consideration for, for this robot to be moved very smooth, smoothly? Of course, you may need to make sure the ground, the floor, the flooring itself is very flat. Okay, very flat. Okay, no humpy, no uh, hole, etc. Yeah, yes, this is a very basic thing, right? Yeah, levelness, the level needs to be very constant, standard. Okay? So when you design this, but consider this because this robot is only can operate on this surface, no other surface, right? Unless you make it uh, like, like four by four. Ah, that's another consideration. Okay, what is uh, another consideration? In Malaysia, any design of the new warehouse must comply to the local authority standard. This is very basic, right? Uh, you need to find a uh, a consultant, an engineering consultant to design the right warehouse for you. Yeah, the structure, civil and structural engineer. You need to find a mechanical engineer 
you need to find an electrical engineer. Okay, this is basic for any warehouse. Okay, before you bring in your, your sophisticated uh, ASIS, the AMS, and etc. Okay, this is the basic thing. All right. After the compliance, of course, you think, think about hey, the process of your warehouse system. Okay? Which one first in, first out, or whatever. And then what kind of system you need to go into the warehouse, the basic thing. Are you going to a very basic warehouse system, or you want to uh, implement the semi-auto, or fully auto warehouse, or, or so-called light-off warehouse system? Yeah, recently, I think a few months ago, I went to the, a bank, uh, a local Malaysian bank that uh, located at the TRX building in KL. I, I, I went into their uh, safe box system. It's a very sophisticated and highly security system. Yeah, it just scan, uh, I think, scan the face, fingerprint, whatever, and then the thing will come into you. Yeah, this, this one, how it works behind the scene, I don't know. Yeah, only the one who designed for this system who know. Okay? I think the, for automation of this system, I no doubt you all know about it. But of course, for banking, in another level, do you think about the security? The security of the warehouse. Okay, same as you. If you have a very important, very uh, expensive and high highly uh, expensive uh, product in your warehouse. You need to consider the right security system that enable your warehouse is secure. Right? Another thing is that uh, the scalability and the flexibility of your warehouse is very important. Okay? I think the, that's all for me for sharing, right? I think because the most important thing for any New warehouse in Malaysia is compliant to the Malaysian law. The first thing, okay, the warehouse structure, the building by itself, not only the civil and structure, okay, mechanical and electrical, also compliance to the fire, fire regulation. Okay? And then of course, with this compliance, then it's easy for you to get the insurance for coverage. Huh? After insurance coverage, then you can build your own, uh, whatever thing you want. Okay? And then, the, of course, you can attract your client. Another thing you need to think about is the ESG, and for, for especially for the sustainability of your warehouse. It's very important. Okay? So whether you can install the so-called solar panel or any other okay, equipment or system that are able to reduce the energy consumption of your warehouse. I think that's all for my sharing. Thank you.